Hi all, welcome to this potential play the year guide for like all the leagues that you normally used to see like Ireland, MLS, Sweden, Norway, Me Mexico um, Where it happened or not is a different matter but I thought I'd at least do it nonetheless because it gives us something in terms of content and also Ireland and Mexico still as far as I believe have EA awards, I've noticed that for Ireland at least anyway and then MLS obviously the play the month MLS card type is always there on the when you're searching but you never see anything to do with it so, Alsvenskin or the Swedish League is the 7th of December, I haven't even seen nominees yet, so this is weird, like we're 5 days away from the award and I haven't seen anything from it at all regarding nominees, normally I do, normally like, I've seen, uh, the reason I know it's the 7th of December is because it's been, it's in the Alsvenskin newsfeed but there's nothing, I haven't seen anything to do with nominees. The four that seem to stand out, if they suddenly pop up like today or whenever, I don't know. Um, Christensen, six goals, eight assists from 21 games. There is potential that they could boost him right to put him in an 80 plus club um, if they were if these were to happen. Uh, Magnus Eriksson, four goals and 13 assists from 29 games. Um, Seb Larsson, three goals and five assists from 24 games. And then Antonio, Antonio Kolak, 14 goals, three assists from 25 games. As I said, for all I know, none of these four might even be nominees. It's just because I haven't been able to find them, and when you do the digging, and it just drives you a bit nuts. But we'll see what happens. Um, as I said, the seventh is obviously next Tuesday. Um, as I said, I'll keep doing digging. If I get any updates, then I will put it out on to Twitter, um, just to kind of cover um, not just Al Svenskin but the other leagues as well. Um, but We'll see what happens in regards to there. MLS quite a lot. Obviously, there's five nominees. Um, usually, the winner is kind of like in line with the actual like final. Usually, so whoever like the two teams are, that's usually who the f um, when they announce it because it kind of falls in line. And um, Valentin Castellanos of New York City FC, 20 goals, eight assists from 33 games. Carlos Gill of New England Revolution, 4 goals, 13 assists from 28 games, he was the comeback player of the year and for those that write on the MLS, like, as in like, those that not just do the um, MLS media, but others in general, they have all kind of said for the five nominees, Carlos Gill is kind of like, most favoured um, in their opinions. Um, they kind of thought Hani Mukhtar had a good shout, um, 19 goals and 10 assists from 33 games, but I think because um, Nashville didn't get as far as it expected, I think, this season, this is where it's kind of seen. Joe Paulo, three, three goals and eight assists from 32 games. The way I thought, I will be honest, I thought like Johnny Russell or somebody else from um, maybe Seattle, eh, not Seattle, sorry, that strong team, that's Sporting Kansas. Um, Seattle, um, maybe, maybe somebody else, but Joe Paulo seems to be very touted and honestly, it could be a not bad sentiment. Daniel Saloy, 16 goals, 8 assists from 32 games. From a sporting KC perspective, I got the impression Johnny Russell, the way everyone kind of was telling me how well he'd been playing and all this kind of stuff. But Saloy has been completely impressive. But when I did my digging on this and reading, Carlos Gill does kind of seem a shoe in. The Mexican League, no nominees, no dates. Now, when this happened with... Gignac and Mena in the past, it was kind of like there and it was like blinking, you miss it kind of thing. You didn't even expect, you didn't expect it kind of thing. So it's kind of deja vu again. Um, looking at it at the moment, um, Nico Lopez nine goals and two assists. Cotta, um, I was actually leaning towards potentially could be the um, shout because um, ten clean sheets in seventeen games is a pretty impressive record to near enough. Over one, one more than one and two, so that's not a bad um, statistic. Angle Mena, six goals and two assists, seems to be the kind of what seems to be a bit of the standout option. And Julian Quinones, you've got to make sure it's the right Quinones for a kickoff, and it is, it's the Atlas one, five goals and three assists. Um, we're in like the semi final stage or something in the Apertura. And looking at it, Mena or Cotta, I think, seem to be the two strongest shouts. Nico Lopez seems to be equally um, viable, but I think it could be a Leon player 
that uh, Club Leon player that seems to be the one that's going to get, I think, Mena. And worth noting as well, because he's just had a recent inform, if he was to get the Player of the Year, and because it's two inform boost, if, unless you suddenly change a player of the year boost, then it could be a much more usable card than it already is. Korean League is an interesting one because it was nominated. Um, that is next Tuesday as well. Four nominees for that: Cecilia, nine goals and seven assists. Lee Dong Jun, eleven goals and four assists. Um, Juman Q, twenty-one goals and one assist. And Hong Jong Ho, or with. Two goals, one assist, and 13 clean sheets over 35 games. The way this works, um, vote percentage is each team's coach is 30%, so the manager gets a 30% vote. The captain within the team has 30%, and then South Korean media has the 40% of a vote. There is no fan um, involvement in this. It's all 60% club, 40% with the media and my thinking looking at the digging could be Cecenia for Daegu but um, Junbooks and Ulsan um, definitely strong shoot. I think Jumin Q, Q if he was playing for Junbook or Ulsan and had that goal return I think he'd be a lock if I'm honest that's my opinion I think 21 goals um, regardless of whatever league um, is very very impressive but we'll see how that one plays out Japan is kind of same applies with um, a couple of other leagues that we've mentioned there's no nominations yet which is quite odd I generally would normally see it by now um, but regardless the five standouts should be academic it's where it happens where it sees five or not is a different matter um, Leandro Damiao seems to be the lock for what I'm reading. He has 22 goals and 9 assists. Um, Kawasaki have been absolutely phenomenal this season. Absolutely unbelievable. So fair play to them. Um, they haven't lost at home for like 2 years or something. I think they said 2, nearly 3 years. That is quite a scary statistic. Dizan Maeda, who could potentially be going to Celtic. 21 goals and 3 assists. Used to play in... Um, the Portuguese league, he had a fun little special card there as well. Mika Yamani, he could be the next strongest shout. Two goals, 12 assists and 15 clean sheets. I should note as well, there is Play of the Month in Japan. I haven't done enough digging to find all the Play of the Month awards. Cause I only found Iniesta because he was the most recent one. He's got six goals, four assists and one Play of the Month award at least that we know of. I could probably do the digging... But I think because it's a whole season, it might it would take a fair bit of time. But at the same time, you, I would imagine Damio and um, Maeda. And it wouldn't surprise me if Kyogo's got a play of the month. So it kind of throw things awry. But we'll see what that one brings. And then the last league for now is the Irish League. Um, where that happens or not as well. We had, um, I remember when we had Sean Maguire and that was, he was at Preston FIFA 18 that... It was like some change, it suddenly made the card go from unusable to usable, and it was a fun little card. The three cards are, a uh, three players, sorry, are Chris Forrester, eight goals from 35 games, Roberto Lopez, ten, uh, one goal, ten clean sheets from 27 games, and Georgie Kelly, 21 goals from 31 games. My thinking is it goes to Lopez because of Shamrock Rovers, but um, the Irish play of the year, you never know. I'm actually honest, you never know. Forrester at the same time could be boosted enough to actually become a 80 plus club for an 80 rated card. That would take some doing because he's 64 rated currently. So plus 16 rating but if you were to boost it, mind, you've got to make the card usable. That's the way you've got to look at it. So we'll see what happens um, with the Irish league. Oh sorry, I am Norway. I knew I forgot one other league. Norway, three nominees, Berisha, Lena Olsen and Berg. Um, Bodo Glintzberg, um, Lola Stroms, Lena Olsen and Vikings, Berisha. Berisha and Lena Olsen both have in, have informs currently so they would go to 84 to make them a little bit more usable. For Norway's Patrick uh, Patrick Glint, 3 goals from 28 games, Lena Olsen 25 goals from 28 games and Berisha 21 goals from 28 games. The award is on the 13th of December and we will see when how that plays out. I'm honestly not sure. 
it's been the case in the past. You never know if the even the top scorer can stand out, but sometimes it's the individual player in a team that um, gets the award. But let me know, folks, in the comments down below who you think could get a player of the year card if they were to do it. It would be fun to see. Smash likes always, folks. Sub to the channel if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, G the Legend, and I will catch you all later.